Yo, what's going on, toxic gamers? Today, we're gonna be talking about video games, fellas. Like, what is going on in gaming, man? I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. I don't think I will ever get it, okay? Because what just happened... Of course, PlayStation 5 Pro, that's a different story, right? If you're in Canada like me, you want to buy PlayStation 5 Pro with disc, it's going to be almost $1,200. That's true. But we also got the Captain BBC Samurai situation once again. And we're hearing that Ubisoft be is being pressured to go private as share prices continue to fall. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Because you see... Ubisoft, man, like, these suckers are crazy. They're being hella racist towards black people, right? Every time they see a black person, they make them gay in the game, right? It, it's like, bruh, like, what the hell? And of course, there's been, they're being doubly racist towards Asian people, and then they turn around, call gamers toxic, problematic, menace to society, gamers need to delete themselves, and, you know, all those kind of nonsense. I mean, bro, who does that to their audience, bro? Who says that they're... Who says that... To their their customers whatever happened to customer is always right i get it sometimes the customers can be pieces of trash too i get it but like damn y'all sick is crazy bro y'all sick is crazy man y'all do that every time you do that every time and on top this gameplay feels like playstation 3 man and of course captain bbc uh, uh captain bbc a uh, salute to the captain bbc uh so he was featured in the ps5 pro trailer as well yeah so like wow wow right I want to show you guys a video, right? Because the comments are pouring in left and right. Everybody's going crazy. And if this keeps on going on, going with Ubisoft, man, I won't be shocked to see them getting shut down. Yeah, the end is nigh. The end is really nigh. Now, here's the thing, though. I always said this, right? Uh, Yasuke is a real-life person. Apparently, what we're learning is that he was not a samurai. Thomas Lockley made that up. So he was not a samurai, first of all. They made him. He was not gay, and they still made him gay. Now, if he was gay in real life, that totally makes sense, okay? Yeah, if he was in real life, then it makes sense to make him as he was in real life in the game. He was not gay, but these suckers were like, that was his biggest accomplishment. Let's just do that, right? Look at that, man. Damn, he's doing that in Japan to Japanese people? Crazy! And of course, uh, we had the entire debacle with uh, they, they, uh, Ubisoft sent out like collector's items to... Japanese youtubers and the Japanese youtubers were like hey, bro Like <laughs> what I cannot read it. It's in Chinese. It's in Mandarin You know what I'm saying? Uh, is that Mandarin uh, if any Chinese person watching let me know the language name if I butcher it my bad uh, Humbly my, my bad. Okay, but but yeah, right? So uh, th those like is crazy, right? Like uh, they didn't even wrote it wasn't even Japanese text on the collector's item that they sent to YouTubers, then they apologize and all that. We apologize, we apologize, we apologize, man. I guess people getting real comfortable by not owning their games because what we're learning is that Star Wars is not doing good. They're, the numbers are down. Pre-order numbers are really down for Assassin's Creed as well. There we go. That chick is gonna fly like that. Damn, strong, strong, independent. Need no man. Damn, this thing is crazy, bro. All right, let's get to it. Shout out to the homie Smash JT. Roll it. I feel like this is one of those situations where everyone's gonna be surprised for some reason when Ubisoft announces major changes, a massive overhaul, or something even more dire because their situation right now is bad what's going on guys welcome to another episode of smash jt ubisoft stock continues to fall plummeting another 10 percent in the past two days and today i heard that it dumped even more right and in total let me show you this this is on top of losing 10 percent last oh. week and 80 percent earlier today i was seeing 82 percent yikes in addition to that going down even before then. And this is right when their heavy hitters are starting to come out. Star Wars Outlaws has already released two mediocre at best reviews. And then we have Assassin's Creed Shadows that nobody. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> and today it down, it downed, it got dumped 3%. That's crazy. Now for context sakes, right? So if you invested $100 in their company five years ago, you lost $81, which means uh, you're left with uh, $18 and 24 pennies right now. 
damn man these suckers crazy <laughs> these suckers crazy man and they still do this bro star wars yeah man this one this game is for the gamers man quadruple a now to be fair though never they never said quadruple a game but the last game the game uh, before star wars was a quadruple a game and we all saw how that turned out it was it belonged in garbage the, the only place it belonged in was garbage that's the only uh, that's the only place it belonged at right this game belonged in the garbage uh, Star Wars belongs in the garbage. Absolutely. Pre-order pre -order numbers were down. Sales are down. And we're hearing that Assassin's Creed BBC Samurai Edition is also down. Big time, man. Go figure, man. Yeah, keep calling gamers toxic, problematic, racist even. Yeah, go ahead. You guys are the ones that are racist. Man, you suckers always do this, man. Where are my black homies at, though? They always do that. They see one black guy and they're like, nah, that's like a game. Bro, what the, what the hell, man? What the actual hell? And then you guys turn around and do this to the Japanese history and do that to the Japanese folks out there as well. And then turn around and call all the gamers toxic. Yeah, be comfortable not owning Ubisoft games. Gamers need to get real comfortable not owning games, said Ubisoft. I guess gamers are being comfortable right now. That I can tell not owning their games. To. Even the most hardcore of Assassin's Creed fans are on the fence on if they even want to bother playing this one. And that's saying something. Smash JT. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down how Ubisoft is in dire straits right now in need of a savior that they don't have on the horizon because they put all their eggs in two baskets and neither one of them are panning out. Ubisoft is in serious trouble and all the signs are growing more dire by the day. Last uh, oh, so we got the François là. Ah oui, I see, ah oui, j'ai pété dedans là. Ah oui, non, je vais pas péter dedans là, mais quand même, bro. Essaye de faire des bons jeux vidéo, man. Let's come. On a juste besoin de bons jeux vidéo. Qu'est-ce que t'es en train de faire, man? T'es en train de péter à Ubisoft, bro? T'es en train de... Sniff les pété là-bas là, qu'est-ce que t'es en train de faire bro T'es en train de rien, t'as rien à foutre là-bas bro Qu'est-ce que t'es en train de faire man On a juste besoin de bons jeux vidéo Last week, the gaming giant's investors were disappointed with early sales numbers for Star Wars Outlaws, causing the stock to plummet more than 10%, and ultimately dropping the market cap below 2 billion euros at the time. Dr. Sirkin Toto said, investors seem very disappointed about Star Wars Outlaws sales numbers and let Ubisoft stock crash. Shares lost over 10% combined in the last two days. So the company... In the last five years, shares lost shares lost almost 82%, man. 82%. <laughs> Yikes. The company just slipped under the two billion in market cap in Paris. Ubisoft is at almost 10 year low. And this was last week. Fast forward to right now, it is continuing to plummet with the latest updates of it going down another 9% on top of that, meaning that Ubisoft stock is falling into all time low territory. Dr. Sirkin Toto followed up saying, I don't want to beat this to death, but Ubisoft stock in Paris is currently dropping another 9%. Market cap is down to 1.7 billion or oh, US 1.9 billion. And when the stock was plummeting last week, I made a tongue in cheek tweet where I was just like, you know, if you invested $10,000 in Ubisoft in 2018, it would be worth $2,500 today. And that was last week, meaning that it's 9% lower than that amount right now. <laughs> Both Assassin's Creed Shadows and Star Wars Outlaws were touted by executives as blockbuster hits upcoming and in the making, promising to captivate gamers and deliver massive returns. Yet the early rumored numbers and sales and pre-orders are paint- Captivate gamers. This game is gonna captivate gamers. Damn, <laughs> bro. We had better games uh, on the PS3. We had better games on the Xbox uh, One 360 even. Xbox 360, yeah. We had better games during the PS4 and Xbox One era. What are we talking about, man? Damn. Okay, call this a uh, quintuple A game. Quan yeah, Sinka? Uh, Sinka? No, quintuple, I believe. That's what... Uh, yeah, quadruple A, quintuple. So that's would be like the five A's, right? Painting quite the opposite picture. Friend of the channel, Stuttering Craig, said on Twitter, a worker at a large games retailer in a big market told me they have had exactly zero pre-orders for any version of Star Wars Outlaws. For reference, Suicide Squad had three. This game is DOA. <laughs> ah, no way! 
<laughs> no, I refuse to believe that, bro. Nah, I don't buy that. I refuse to believe it that it has zero pre-orders. Come on, man, at least one, man. Now, I don't know. I just maybe it, it's uh, no disrespect though, but perhaps uh, the the store is a smaller store, or perhaps uh, the store is in a town. Because that matters too, right? I do believe the pre-orders numbers are low for this one. Absolutely. After the Star Wars, I'm more convinced right now that gamers are waking up. Gamers are realizing that th this is just a shit show right now bro like i feel like that gamers are getting older majority of them are getting older and majority of the gamers are realizing and they're opening their eyes and they're they finally have stopped buying the idea of the sky is green bullshit right so gamers are waking up honestly i did not think that we're gonna see gamers wake up the way they are because you go back uh, i believe a year or two years ago because, because and the thing is that i was saying that based off of the data uh because every time there was backlash people would always buy still buy you know negative marketing always did boosted up the sales but now what we're learning is that it's not the case i guess people are people say what they actually mean it's refreshing i love that i love that gamers are now fighting back and yes man i do believe that you and I, all of us, we deserve better than this piece of trash. We deserve better than these crap games. Man, like, when does it stop? Imagine, like, you buying, if you're in Canada, I guess if you're in the US, it's gonna be 700 plus taxes, USD, right? But for somebody like me in Canada, I got some PS4 discs, right? Sony's like, oh, backwards compatibility with PS4 games. But no disc drive. <laughs> Think about it this for a second, right? Like, damn, this like is crazy right like i got a couple of ps4 discs lying around and if i want to play those games on ps5 ps5 pro i can't i need to buy an extra disc drive which costs 80 usd so gonna be like 100 some canadian i'm assuming with taxes as well right gonna factor in the taxes too guys 700 usd is almost 960 canadian then 15 percent taxes because uh shri ake big if you're in uh, Montreal, you know what I'm talking about. And Ubisoft is about 20 minutes away from me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, man. I do apologize on their behalf, man. I do apologize. I, I didn't ask Ubisoft to be like that. Back when I came here in Montreal, Ubisoft was good. I played the Assassin's Creed 2. I played Assassin's Creed 3. I played Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Man, those games were amazing. Those games were crazy. For the time, they were so captivating. They were so... It, it had a soul in it, right? Games were so good. You didn't have to worry about microtransactions. Nowadays, games are microtransactions galore. Unfinished at launch. Buggy at launch. Filled with politics, right? They always do DEI crap. And on top, they cannot even do that right even. It's like a Japanese game and they're doing DEI regardless. And on top, like, they're using a real-life person, Yasuke, and making him what he was not. That's insanely disrespectful, man. Insanely. It's like, for example, like, they choose you to put in their game and, and <laughs> they, may, they, they make you, like, for example, right? Like, if for example, I'll, I'll go this way, okay? If you're gay in real life, right? And they put you in the game and they make you trans, let's just say. How are you gonna feel, okay? And, and if you're, let's just say if you're gay and they make you straight in the game. How are you gonna feel? Yes, exactly, the same is true, right? Like, they... Yasuke was straight and they still made him gay bro what the hell why y'all suck is so infatuated with sexuality bro what the hell we just want to play good games man we just want to play good games simple 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 just good games how hard is it how hard can this be Apparently a lot. Apparently a lot. Learning the law said Star Wars Outlaws is estimated to cost between 80 and 100 million dollars. Sheesh! Ubisoft recently showcased the game as a proud example of their diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. With the release approaching, here are the explosion effects. But don't just take it from Yikes. me. Let's hear what Ubisoft had to say to their actual investors during an earnings call about their hopes and dreams for these upcoming titles. Um, we uh, we don't disclose nor comment uh, pre-orders usually. What we can say is that uh, what we've been observing and measuring uh, is that uh, our two uh, big titles actually are indeed uh, among the most awaited most uh, games of the 
of the industry and they uh, enjoy a very strong positive very strong positive community sentiment overall okay positive community sentiment overall proving that when i called it out as a lie I was right. These executives <laughs> at Ubisoft are scared and they're telling their investors asking the questions that everything is fine. It's all hunky dory. Yeah. Go look somewhere else because we're good here. Mm -hmm. Trust us. The sales will be fine. You know, everything's good. Everything. Gamers are excited about it. <laughs> when they're anything. Uh, you, Ubisoft right now. Ubisoft be like, it's me. Ubisoft be like that right now. Damn, this suck is crazy. Why do it, man? Man, y'all suckers could have had everything. Y'all suckers had everything. Ubisoft was considered to be one of the top developer at one point, man. I played their games. I loved their games, man. But then I stopped buying when the games started becoming trash. And now it's even trasher than trash. You cannot get trasher than trash, right? Is there even a word that's uh, trasher than trash? They were at 100 euros at one point. But okay, like, I, I don't want to take the peaks. Yes. Stock can go up and down, understandably, right? On normal, I guess 70 should have been the average, right? 100 being the max, 70 should have been average. Okay, let's even say 50, right? Like half. 13, 13. I guess if you bought it like uh, back in the 1997, I guess you're up 400%. I guess you're you're, you're 400%. I guess like if you invested then in their company for 20 years, I guess you would be 400%. <laughs> okay, okay. But that they're just trying to hang on to their jobs as long as they can before it all comes crashing down. And on top of lying straight up to their investors, they've also injected DEI into their games. Whether they want to admit it or not, there's no Black Samurai and that's been proven. Yet for some <clears throat> reason Ubisoft felt the need to inject Yasuke as the main protagonist in Assassin's Creed Shadows. For what reason exactly? Kangmin Lee said, all Ubisoft had to do was have a Japanese main character yeah. for a game that takes place in feudal Japan. Simple. Simple. This man gets it. This man gets it. But they couldn't help but shoehorn in a DEI black guy and repeatedly market him as a real life samurai based on zero historical evidence. Now a whole nation is pissed off. And that was in response to Assassin's Creed giving the basically a apology, a four page yeah. apology to the entire Japanese community for injecting DEI in a game where it had no place. This is what we're dealing with. Learning the Law posted, IGN praised Thomas Lockley for the- Context, this is the guy that made up uh, the bullshit of uh, Yasuke being a samurai when he was not. And, and we saw the Japanese man earlier, right? He pulled up the receipts. Where is that guy? Yeah, this guy. <laughs> he pulled up the receipts, man. And, and a lot of Japanese uh, folks have pulled up their receipts from their own history to show that he was not. Right? And, and it's perfectly fine, right? Like, yeah, not everybody can be a samurai, right? Like, I'm not a samurai either. I'm not a samurai either myself. Uh, and, and on top, like, these things are insane, right? They say that gamers are toxic and uh, racist, but they are the actual racist ones, right? Because they, they're they using right now LGBT people as shields, okay? First of all, they're using them as shields. They are being racist towards black people, always associating them with sexuality and the stereotypes. Oh, you're black, you must love hip-hop, right? I love hip-hop as well myself. It's not about that, right? Hip-hop, I love that, okay? But they always do that. Oh, you black, you much like hip hop. Okay, whatever, right? They make them gay as well. Every time, it happens all the time. If you're black watching this video, it doesn't even matter if you're black, white, purple, brown, or whatever, right? Like, just ask, a ask yourself, why do they do this? There's a reason for it. I don't think I can say it, but uh, there's a reason for it, right? They do that. They're using LGBT people as shields as well, right? And then they're being racist towards Japanese people. They are the ones being racist towards everybody. Holy crap, man, what are we talking? And of course, they openly say that they are they don't like white people. They openly say that. So they're being not just, they're, they're not just being racist towards black people, not just Japanese people, but white people as well. I'm personally brown. I'm ethnically brown. I might look white, but I'm ethnically brown. I'm Pakistani, South Asia. That part of the world is considered uh, to be brown. So just wanted to say that because some people don't believe when I say that. I, I mean, listen, and I, do, I did not make that term. They call that region of the world brown. I, I did not. That, that's what they refer to me, right? And as a brown man, all I'm saying, where is my representation? I don't even get my representation. Damn, man. This thing is crazy, man. This thing is being racist towards my, my people, brown people. They're being racist towards brown people by never having us in the game, man. First of all, I'm joking around. I, I, I'm not dying to get representation. 
it's if it's logical if it makes sense then you do it this time it made sense to have a japanese protagonist but they still didn't do it right racist being racist towards white black <laughs> brown people by not having us being uh, racist towards asian people these like is being racist towards everybody and using lgbt people as shields uh, and uh, ultimately what this does divides all of us these suckers are there to divide us all bruh and i'm saying we gotta unite man we gotta unite and right now gamers are uniting so that's the most positive thing ever uh, that's the most and, and you know what here's the thing though crazy shocker i've even seen people say that hey like i'm quoting i'm not saying me I'm, I'm quoting okay habibi i'm quoting people say that they are gay or lgbt and they're not buying this game they're also offended by that crap and they don't want this piece of trash or that sort of crap in their game so i mean you would think that they would be okay with it right but apparently that's what i'm seeing in the comments yes so feels like that everybody's kind of like coming on the same same page love to see that man love to see that the upcoming Assassin's Creed Shadows featuring Yasuke and labeled critics as bigots for highlighting his Western propaganda, distorting Japanese history. Now that the author has been exposed and Ubisoft is apologizing, they're backtracking. It's alienated a significant portion of gamers. People are responding to it as predicted, negative and very dismissive. And it makes you wonder, can Ubisoft turn this around? And honestly, in the current state, I don't know if it can. I mean, no. outside of Just Dance that continues to substantiate most of their profits every year with the same thing being rehashed and people continuing to buy it, I don't see anything else. I, I think it's because, like, there isn't any other game. Maybe there is, but it's not known, right? So people that love games, or I guess uh, some people would buy that game to learn as well and enjoy a game. So I get that. I get that. It's like the FIFA situation, right? The WWE's, uh, the Call of Duty's, right? It's like... You know what I mean? When your competition is X Defined, X Defined could have been like way better, but apparently that's bleeding fan base as well. People are not happy with Black Ops 6 either, uh, but Black Ops 6 is probably gonna be either number one or number two, or maybe number three, but it's gonna be one of the best selling games. Easy. What's that Ubisoft can do to save this, at least with the current leadership in place. They've they injected cannot. DEI, they've made poor decision, they've rehashed the same properties over and over and making them worse, making them similar, reusing assets, being generic, repetitive gameplay. It's almost like Ubisoft forgot how to make a game fun and instead just fell to the what makes sense for the masses and will just spit out the same thing, cookie cutter formula. Check out this video on the screen. This is the last video that we've done and people are mad with Black Ops 6 as well. You want to know why? Well, check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. The PS5 Pro situation crazy and BBC Samurai makes a cameo in that video. Yay! The real BBC Samurai makes a cameo in that video. Check it out and I'll see you right there.